so we can watch that video. Doing this for a long time, I would bring me into the process much earlier. Like right now, it's all like, oh, here's this thing that we're doing, and it's so cool. And so people, like, so the kids are seeing like this. Because it's productive, and you really feel like you're getting somewhere, and you're learning as you're going, so you're testing something, and then somebody gives, comes in with a different perspective, and you're like, oh, okay, and then that gives you something to go with to make it better. So every single time, you're getting better and that and you're being challenged to think and you're doing. So all of that makes you feel really involved and excited about so, it. You know, when you're getting involved with your own organization, thinking about what it is you're doing, you're all so immersed in it, it's hard to have fresh new ideas because you're already anchored to what already exists. Um, and being able to have that fresh point of view from the outside is incredibly helpful because we all bring so and the challenge was around how do we up staff buy-in and engagement and make teachers the leaders of their own professional development. And the really cool thing about where we landed, we did basically a culture shift A to Z process that began with vision and I feel really good about the vision. And I'm taking it back to my school because I know it's gonna be a buy-in for all teachers because it starts with student voices and student narratives and reframing the data we look at, not as what teachers traditionally think of when they think of data-driven PLCs, but as the student stories being the data. So, and it fleshed out into a detailed retreat experience um, that we did many, many iterations of. So I'm actually walking back with like probably 10 different versions of a fleshed out agenda and activities and purposes and protocols that I could do with that I could replicate with teachers that would get us to that place of student narratives as the vision. And, um, it was just pretty amazing to step back and not say anything about our school really and what it stands for and have people that don't work and have never visited our school create something that absolutely is exactly what we want to be about. So. From the eLearning Network of Colorado, we're a startup from nothing to something grand after this plan is implemented, but um, I, I want to thank my whole team, amazing talent there, couldn't have done it by myself and I feel like I was working in a vacuum. I was crying tears of joy because I was so excited by what they came up with. Could not have thought of this on my own. But I, I often say that education should learn something from corporate America, and now I understand why I say that. And uh, <laughs> because, uh, education can be insane. We do the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, which is the definition of insanity, right? And that is the definition of what makes a company successful. Corporate America depends on that innovation, doing things differently in order to achieve a different outcome. And the interface of those two, I think, are what create the possibility for doing things differently yeah. and achieving a different outcome. That this is a great prototype for, you know, we have learning communities happening in schools. And this actually could be a much better format than the pick a theme and some leaders leading it, that this is actually what happens in our learning communities. Yeah. But I mean, as far as I loved your idea about the PLCs, like I just think teams need to work like this a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to bring my staff to something like this to just kind of learn how we yeah. engage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So long story short, I have a school scrimmage uh, to let the students kind of have a voice and let them share what are their problems and then hopefully let the students decide and the students determine what are the solutions to those problems. Hmm.